in Act 2, quite different from Act 1, and I would actually say I like it better because of one gimmick it does. One gimmick that is actually better, like, it might seem stupid at first, but it's actually really fun. And it's being upside down, reversing the gravity. And you might think this is, well, I'm just kind of an idiot here, but you might think this is hard to control, but it's really not. It's really actually pretty, you know, like, ducking is still the same, moving left and right is simple, and just move left or right. Now like it reverses the controls. I'm very grateful to have one of these shields back. And god, I was shit at this regular style. You think I'd be able to fucking do this upside down? No, that's why I'm quite glad I had this electric shield. Anyways, this zone has a lot of fucking alternate routes. Like, I take a route here in this video that I didn't even know existed. I find something I actually completely forgot about. And yeah, you might have noticed there's plenty of ways to actually change gravity. One of those spinning around chambers, switches, one of those lifts or tubes that you can take. Plenty of ways. Pretty cool stuff. And I actually had no idea those fucking there were buttons that reverse gravity because I never went this way before. And I don't mind these heater totter things. They do break uh, if you see after a while, if you stand on them for too long. And I fucking thought I was done with these stupid springing left and right things, but no. I had to throw one last one in at the very end. Now, coming up shortly, I'm going to get my 50th ring. But I will not be going hypersonic. No, that would be cheating. And I can do this. I can do this zone without having to go hypersonic. Uh, that would just cheapen the whole experience. I need you to see... This is like, Tails, you dumbass. I need you to see what this zone is really like. It's hard, it's challenging, I can't just hyper my way through everything. And I decided to go on a bonus stage, because you know, why not? It's the last one, the last bonus stage we'll ever go in. And, god damn it, Tails, why would you grab that fire shield? I hate fire shields, nope. Can't redeem yourself by getting a 1-up, it's too late. Just wanted an electric shield. You couldn't just let me have it, you bastard. Anyways, I decided I don't even want this stupid fire shield, so I get that Robotnik TV, because, you know, why not? Anyways... Coming up soon, Tails will do something slightly useful and get me my 100th ring. Good job, Tails. Now, I don't really have a preference between Act 1 and Act 2's music. I don't know if you do or not, but... I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of music in this, but like I said, but I also don't hate it. One thing I'm really not a big fan of is the background for Act 2, because it kind of, you know, gets boring to look at after a while. I mean, Act 1, the background was way more interesting, and I don't know. I guess it also means this place is exposed to space, so congratulations, Sonic, on your ability to breathe in space. Now, this part here coming up is a lot weirder than it seems. You have to actually, hold on, you have to bounce downwards. Whoa. That's trippy as fuck. I don't know. I can deal with pretty much anything else, like walking upside down, but that was weird. And this part I was pretty confused what the fuck I was supposed to do. But you go over here and you find the gravity switch and there you go. Now it looks like it makes a lot more sense. And like I said, long zone, but you know, what are you going to do about it? Maybe I started to get a little tired of it by the end, but even, you know, feelings of boredom you get, you know, it's the last zone, it's supposed to be like, damn, this is fucking huge, it's take, taking forever, it's, but it's a good thing, and you might have noticed there's like tons of alternate routes that I'm not taking, I don't know, it's a big ass zone, and oh my god, we're doing this fucking upside down, Are you fucking serious, I don't know, anyways, coming along here is just the, um, just another one of these things, fucking... I think you understand why I'm getting so fucking tired of them. Just, I mean, I don't know how interesting they are to watch. I mean, they're they're kind of fun to, when you're playing. It's like, okay, I get to fly around like a crazy person. It's awesome, but you know, whatever. Oh, for fuck's sake, get it. I mean, I guess they're not too long usually, which is a a blessing. But they're so pointless too. I mean, I really wish I'd started jumping over these, but you know. I don't know, maybe you like watching him, maybe you don't. I know what I like, I like getting a fucking electric shield back, finally, thank god. Anyways, I know for a fact that means... Coming up pretty shortly, it's gonna be the end of the act, or not the end of the act, but, um... First boss fight. 
Yep. I'll just gotta do another one of these things and I finally realized that why am I even fucking using this platform? I have electric shield. I can just run over this. Fuck that shit. And here we go. The first boss, the actual, the regular boss of Act 2 before the final bosses. I used to not really like this boss, but I actually figure that he's actually, you know, he's not so bad. You have no might have noticed he has those two bumpers on him to make sure that no matter what, no matter where you are, Sonic and Tails will never be able to actually hit him. What we have to do is use this rather creative, like, use of the gravity gimmick to make his own little spiky things that he lets go hit him. And it takes a while, but you know, it's a boss that requires patience and timing and skill, so I can't complain. It is pretty creative, and even if you do kind of glitch out through him, you can never do damage by just hitting him, which is, you know, that would be kind of pointless, so whatever. Look at Robotnik, you fat faggot. He's just so fucking annoying, taunting you by sitting there. Now, I eventually get a little, you know, like I don't have time, or I don't have the patience to do this, so I'm just gonna go back and forth between these two levels, and you know, honestly, that's actually a pretty effective strategy, or well, not effective is the right word, but eventually we'll probably kill him if we just keep doing this over and over. But you know, where's the fun in that? So eventually I start trying to pay attention, and obviously you can probably tell, if you hit him, like, on the head with the wheel parts of those things, it doesn't do any damage, so, whatever. And after a while, they will explode by themselves, and you might notice whenever they explode, they fire off their three little spikes, so you gotta be careful, because they're kind of hard to see, and if you're not expecting it, it might get you by surprise. And I think you can only have, like, I think he can only have about three of these things out at a time, at a time, rather. And we're nearing the end of this boss fight. And it's actually easier to get hit than you, uh, than you think, but I don't know, I'm just pretty careful. Anyways, coming up after this little sequence is the the final boss. What would be the final boss if I didn't have all the emeralds. This also is definitely the final boss of your tails, because he doesn't have a zone after this. And, good god, this guy gave me so much fucking trouble when I was a kid, and I'm gonna make him look not that challenging, and this first phase where he just attacks you with his fingers isn't really that challenging. You gotta hit him all three times, it's, it's pretty easy. You might notice I have zero rings and one less life. That's because if you go into this directly, you go into this directly from the end of Act 2 of Death Egg, and you gotta keep your rings, and you can fight him with rings if you do that, but that's a pussy way, and that's the way faggots do it. And I killed myself on purpose, and then when you die once, then you don't get to have any more rings, and then you have to do it with zero rings, you know, the way it should be done. So, that's how I'm doing it. I'm doing it the man's way, I suppose you could say. Anyways, that's the end of phase one. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy. It can be hard, you can't die there for being careless. There is the actual main part of the boss fight. Platform's collapsing, and he fires this fucking red fire out of his nose, so just be careful. What you want to do is hit him once, then land, then hit the Master Emerald, then jump. And you have to do that really precisely, because you can't just hit it weakly. You have to bounce a pretty far way back so you don't fall. See those collapsing platforms? You don't want to... You can fall to your death if you just hit it and fall directly straight down. Like that. And it's actually harder to time than you think, because it's actually a pretty small window of opportunity where you can jump and not get killed by that laser. Because you gotta remember, if you get hit by anything once, you're fucking dead. And again, I try—I make this look a lot easier than it really is. As a kid, this guy, just the stomping sounds, oh man, he's scary as fuck. But, he is down. However, it's not finished quite yet. As you see, Botnik's not gonna give up that easy. He's gonna make one last attempt to run away with a Master Emerald, and we gotta stop him. Now this part, doesn't seem so hard, but you have to be really careful how you hit him. If you hit him too far, you will fly off to the left and you will die and you have to do all this over again. So be fucking careful how you hit him. You can have 
surgical precision when you do this. Like, I very, very nearly died there. But, you know, overall, not that hard. And, uh oh, he's down for the count, but it's not over yet. See you in the doomsday zone.